if you're watching this, then you know by now a huge problem is heading our way. An emergency meeting is being called at our usual place immediately. Free bagels. You played the sort of the conspiracy theorist in this movie. Did you do any deep, dark web research in um, preparing for this role? I probably would have had to, maybe two or three years ago, research what a conspiracy theorist is and what a conspiracy theorist does. But it seems to me like just lately, you don't have to do much digging to find about conspiracy theorists. They seem to be right at the very forefront of things at the moment. I've made a shocking discovery. I needed to get me in touch with NASA immediately. Well, NASA and I aren't really on speaking terms these days. Well, that'll change. When you tell them that the moon is out of orbit. Yeah, it was a strange one to play a conspiracy theorist at a time when conspiracy theories are doing so much damage and spreading a lot of misinformation and stuff. What I would say is at least Casey Houseman's theories were backed up by science. It's not, it's, it's not even a conspiracy theorist. He, he, he did so much research and was proven to be right. And I just wish other conspiracy theorists were that scrupulous about their own uh, research. You knew all this was happening before NASA. You are the unidentified source? Oh, yes. You're also the comic relief in this movie. And often British actors are kind of cast in this role. Why do you think that is? Are Brits just funnier than Americans? It's a, it's a, it's a rhythmic thing. Even though, even though American English and you know British English, even though it's the same language, the rhythms are slightly different. And I'm not the speech rhythms. I mean, and I'm not necessarily thinking that we're funnier. We just speak in a way that sounds a little bit quirky and a little bit different to American ears. Even though we're speaking completely normally, we don't think we're speaking in a in a quirky or a, or a funny way. But there's just something about the 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 rhythmic quality of it and the flow of speech that I think Americans find find quite funny and I, I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain about it I think comic relief is a is an important thing if I can keep doing that I'll be delighted we're dealing with an intelligent entity we're planning a mission to attack this thing I'm asking you for your help say yes Brian Roland Emmerich is sort of um, a genre unto himself these days. How was it working with him? Did, uh, did it live up to your expectations or exceed them in any way? Absolutely, Roland exceeded my expectations because, you know, he's done movies like this for so long now. He's, he, he's destroyed the world in so many different ways. You, you'd be forgiven for thinking that he was slightly jaded or complacent or thought he had the formula for it and didn't have to commit to it that much. But he's one of the very few people that you meet in life who combines real expertise and real experience with a real passion for it still. He wants to get every single shot right, every single moment right. He's not coasting. He's not resting on his laurels. It feels like every single shot that he makes is the first shot of his career. That's the, that's the extent of his passion for it. And that becomes infectious. That spreads around the entire crew and and everybody loved him so much. Everybody was so fond of him and everybody wanted to do a good job for him. You have got a big gravity wave coming your way. You have to launch now. Did he say gravity wave? This movie relies a lot on uh, conspiracy theories. Do you have any favorite ones? I became obsessed for a while with the conspiracy theory that Paul McCartney had died and been replaced. Right. Do you know that one? Yeah, 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 yeah. There, there, there all sorts of clues in album artwork right. and playing records backwards. And it was because of that that I first started properly listening to the Beatles. I don't believe he's dead anymore, but it's left me with a long lasting love for my favorite band. So sometimes some good can come out of conspiracy theories, but that one was on my mind for quite a while. Guys. Uh, that's crazy. It's my favorite band too, and you were actually reminding me of, of Paul McCartney. I was just thinking you could play Paul McCartney. I, you know what? I'll take that. But before I before I get too bald, uh, because <laughs> that's not that's not far away. Believe me. I'll, if anybody wants me to play that, I'll drop everything. Cool. Man. See, I, I'd I'm love so to cool. see that. I'd love to see. People that. say to me, "Oh." You must get sick of this, but I think you look a bit like Paul McCartney. I'm like, no, no, no. I'm not getting sick of it. You should hear what I was used to. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm perfectly happy to go along with that. Thank you for, you've put a smile on my face just by saying it. Thank you very much. It's on airplane mode.